If you guys see anything behind me move during the course of this video, please tell me in the comments and I will exercise my room. Unfriended is directed by Levan Gabriadzi, uh, written by Nelson Greaves and stars Shelley Hennig, Moses Jacob Storm, Renee Olsted, Will Peltz, Jacob Wysocki, Courtney Halverson, and Heather Sossaman. And Unfriended takes place all in the course of one Skype chat session. Um, it's a year after the anniversary, sorry, it's a year after this girl Laura Barnes played by Heather Sossaman committed suicide after being cyberbullied, and we take the point of view of um, Blair Lilly, played by Shelley Hennig, who was one of her friends, and they get into a, in the Skype session and they begin to get stopped apparently by this account claiming to be Laura Barnes. And at first I wasn't that interested in Unfriended because I thought it was just going to be like this hyper gimmick movie, but I was I became really interested when I heard that it, it was all in real time, not just, you know, um, let's say it shows a computer screen for like a few minutes and then it cuts and then it's like the next day, it's all in one take, quote-unquote, so that was really interesting to me. And I do think that Unfriended is definitely worth watching for um, its originality and for its surprisingly strong performance from Shelley Henning, but I do think it does fall victim to a lot of bad horror movie tropes as well. First of all, like I said, major kudos to this movie's dedication to trying to be as authentic an experience as possible. Um, like, you know, the video feeds on Skype get really choppy sometimes. Uh, the screen is just cluttered beyond belief, like a normal teenager screen. You can tell that Blair's friends are also doing other things. Uh, they're not just, you know, looking at each other on Skype the entire time. You know that they're kind of like out tabbing and like browsing through the internet and whatnot. Um, the sounds are just like how they are on real computers and the audio from Skype also isn't really that clear, which is great. And it's really cool how the different things on Blair's laptop really kind of serve as production design. They, they say a lot about her character, what she likes, uh, what she's interested in, and it's really cool in that regard. Um, it's also really cool how the decision to keep things in real time is, is cooler for the fact that we get to see how people have to switch tone of voice um, when they move from one person to another. I, th I think everybody does this, like if you're talking to your friend in one window, but then in, an in another you have to talk to someone who's not really your friend, you have to change your tone of voice. It's cool seeing stuff like that, and it's really cool seeing how this movie does have a cyberbullying spin to it, which I don't really think was used well enough ultimately, but I still do think it kept things interesting. It created some really, really good moments as well. And Shelley Hennig as Blair is surprisingly very capable as an actress. She definitely outshines all her co-stars because of her ability to really kind of switch from one emotion to another and make it just feel so natural. Um, and I really didn't feel like I was watching an actress watching her act, um, and the credit of the whole cast, um, I think everybody d did have chemistry with each other. It felt like they were a real group of friends and that they were just kind of making fun of each other all the time, which is the best kind of friendship. Um, and kudos to Levan Gabriadzi, if I'm saying that right, for being able to coordinate um, really directing all these kids in one take, quote-unquote. Um, I still don't really know how this was filmed, so like, kudos to them for like, keeping it a mystery. But like I said, I, I have quite a few problems with Unfriended. It's original, but it's not without its big flaws. Um, for one, you have to put up with long stretches of screen time being spent just kind of listening to these kids talk, which you could argue is a natural consequence of the film's commitment to its form. So you know, even if the pacing is kind of ruined in that regard, it's still you know a credit to their originality. Um, however, the directing can get a bit confusing at times because there's just so much going on on screen, and it might have helped if Levan Gabriadzi kind of like helped us focus our attention in certain parts of the screen, I know it's just me. Um, the scares began to feel a bit repetitive after a while because, you know, it's set up in such a way where it becomes just this formula and you know when a scare or a death is coming. Um, and it really, this movie does still succumb to a lot of bad horror movie tropes, like, you know, everyone here is unlikable, even if Shelley Hennig is a good actress, you don't really care if any of these kids die. Uh, the dialogue is still pretty juvenile, it's like an, an adult was really trying to write teenage dialogue, which does not work. Uh, most of the time. And the ending, the very ending is so cheap in that it's it's one of those cheap jump scares at the very end, which is unfortunate because the moment right before that happens would have been such a better ending in line with the whole cyberbullying theme. But in the end, I would still say that Unfriended is an okay movie. Um, it's still definitely worth checking out if you're a horror movie fan. Um, and I really can't hate it despite its flaws because it's just so original and I hope that horror movies in the future keep, you know, trying to take original spins on these things. Alright, so those are my thoughts on Unfriended. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Whatever you thought, whether you agree or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.